All right, here's some big images coming in of Uday Saman, the close aide of Aditya Thakre, who's now pulled off support from the Thakre camp, who's now headed en route to Guwahati. Here's another leader of the Shiv Sena who joins the rebel camp, Uday Saman, who's said to be close to Aditya Thakre, has now left. He's on his way to Guwahati to join the rebel camp. Uday Saman's en route to Guwahati, and these are the first and exclusive images right here on India Today. In fact, our channel bringing you in-depth, accurate, information of this political meltdown that uh, has rocked Maharashtra, the state of course, the people of Maharashtra right now left in a limbo, governance has now been kept in the back burner, uh, it seems like there is no acting government at this point in the state of Maharashtra. Very disappointing state of affairs for the people, the voters who have voted um, and, and issued their mandate. Unfortunately, here we're looking at politicians themselves bickering to a point where the entire government has now come to a collapse. Now, there is no clarity on who is going to form the government, who is going to remain in power. Uh, all that will be decided possibly when either side uh, gives in or, or, or declares defeat. But it doesn't seem like on both ends, Udav Thakre as well as Eknath Shinde, both of them digging in their heels ready for a big fight. And that would mean that this political turmoil would continue for a little longer. These are exclusive images coming in of Uday Samant, who is en route to Guwahati. He's another leader who is close to Aditya Thakre and Udav Thakre. He was said to be a close aide of uh, both, the, uh, both the chiefs, in fact, the chief of uh, Shiv Sena, Udav Thakre, and his son, Aditya Thakre. The same man who is seen as family of the Thakres, has now pulled off support, is on his way to Guwahati. Let me cut across to Ritwik joining us more on that. Ritwik, explain to us these images. Now, it's very surprising to see chartered flights one after the other taking away MLAs from Maharashtra to Guwahati. Where's all the money coming from? I can't imagine an MLA um, to have as much cash to burn uh, for, for a trip in a chartered flight back and forth, Guwahati, Gujarat, Maharashtra. I mean, where's the money coming from? Exactly, that's the only question which is a buzz on the social media and uh, common people are also asking. Uh, actually, Uda Samant, who was in the flock of uh, Uddhav Thakre, Uddhav camp, uh, was what we understand is he was about to go very early. But uh, something, uh, some reasons uh, which uh, made him stay here back in Mumbai uh, with Uddhav camp, but he was already in touch uh, with Shinde camp. Uh, he was, uh, he wanted to go there uh, two days earlier, but uh, uh, Shinde camp told him that we have the numbers right now and you need to stay back because obviously Uddha, uh, Uday Samant, who himself is a cabinet minister in uh, Uddhav Thakre Sarkar and if he goes there, uh, definitely he needs to be given one cabinet seat which uh, the uh, Shinde camp and the MLAs over there uh, might not agree with uh, because he was the last person to go. Uh, still, uh, the question remains like uh, he has flown to Surat and from Surat to Guwahati, uh, he he has got a chartered plane. So, who's really paying for that? Obviously, uh, Sanjay Rao, the leader from Shiv Sena, is alleging that BJP is behind this, uh, central government is behind this, but he has no proof to uh, prove it. Uh, but then, uh, the way uh, just chartered flights are flying from Mumbai to Surat to Guwahati, and we also seen in last three to four days, even uh, leader of opposition, Devendra Fadnavis, has flown to uh, Indore and then again Vadodara in chartered plane for two to three times. So that uh, question uh, really needs to be answered. At this point, uh, Udha Samant is known to be Aditya Thakre's close aide. What really happened? Where do you think you know, the situation has gone so wrong for Udha, Udha Samant also to pull off support? Do, do you think that Aditya Thakre was in the know of this or was he taken by surprise with this? Would you be able to tell us if Aditya Thakri had a feeling? Uh, let me first tell you that Uday Samant. Yes, uh, Uday Samant was believed to be very close to Aditya Thakri. But uh, since uh, uh, last two years, uh, Uday Samant, who was working as a higher technical uh, minister, educa uh, education minister, he was uh, handling some of the issues in which Aditya Thakri. Uh, himself uh, from being with Yuva Sena and his first uh, liking towards the education uh, as a beat, as a stream, 
uh, he used to take some decisions and might uh, there are possibilities that some of the decisions taken by Aditya Thakre in education department, yeah. in higher technical education department, which was handled by Uday Samant, he might not agree with them. Uh, also, they were, uh, uh, he was very close to uh, Ekna Chinde at the same time. So, we can't really say what really uh, yeah, I, and triggered you know, Uday Samant to go it, there. No one but, wants yes, we know a that junior too. politician to be meddling in your works. Clearly, Aditya Thakre was just about growing as a politician. He, he had the first advantage only because of his father Udav Thakri, he was made the minister at, at an age of 30. So uh, undoubtedly one can imagine that there are several MLAs within the camp uh, who were you know, not approving of this kind of powers that were rested on Aditya Thakre. At this point his own aide, Uday Samant, has now withdrawn support. But stay with us, Jitik. I'm quickly cutting across to Mustafa Sheikh who joins us on, uh, on the legal battle right now that unfolds between the two camps. In fact, uh, this is going to court and that's for sure. At least that's what Eknath Shinde as well as Udav Thakre uh, have asserted in the last few days that they're going to be taking this matter to court. There are several legalities uh, that they've got to explore uh, on whether or not the, uh, the Eknath Shinde camp, the rebel camp, despite having two-third majority, can actually stake claim. And if they, if they can, then what is the process to it? On the other, Udav Thakre, of course, not letting go without a fight. He is trying to push all the constitutional provisions at this point, Mustafa, uh, uh, to try and disqualify at least 16 of those MLAs who are rebelling. And uh, we saw the lawyer. He just spoke a little while ago. In fact, Mustafa, if you stay with us, I'm going to cut across to the bite first on what the lawyer says on the legal options that Udav Thakre has, which he's now using to disqualify the MLAs. Over to you right after that. As per the situation, as, and we are going to urge that all these 16 MLAs will be disqualified, have to be disqualified in accordance with the provisions of 10th schedule, and they will have to face the electorate. कि बहुत सारी मीडिया में ये चर्चा आ रही है कि हम लोगों के पास two third है, and therefore disqualification नहीं लगता है. ये you can ask any constitutional lawyer that this is totally wrong. The concept of two third applies only if there is a merger. ये सिर्फ बोलने से कि हम लोगों के पास दो two third majority है. इससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है डिस्कॉलिफिकेशन पे जब तक आप अपनी जो एमएलएस है कोई और पार्टी में मर्ज नहीं कर सकते दैट टिल दैट टाइम डिस्कॉलिफिकेशन अप्लाइज नाउ इन दिस केस टिल टुडे एज वी स्पीक देर इज नो मर्जर दे हैव ऑलरेडी दिस बीन कमिटेड द एक्ट ऑफ वॉलेंटरीली गिविंग अप डिस्कॉलिफिकेशन पिटिशन हैव ऑलरेडी बीन फाइल्ड एंड आज तक कोई मर्जर नहीं है ये जो मर्जर का कॉन्सेप्ट आया 2003 में इसके पहले जो था स्प्लिट का प्रोविजन था कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में कि आप वन थर्ड लेके फैक्शन बना सकते हैं तो इनको जो भी लीगल एडवाइस दे रहे हैं उनको सोचना पड़ेगा कि ये क्या डिलीटेड अमेंडमेंट पे ये पूरा कार्रवाई हो रहा है या जो अभी जो मौजूदा सिचुएशन है कि जब तक मर्जर ना हो ये डिस्कॉलिफिकेशन से बच नहीं सकते